Can you believe it? Early voting begins next Tuesday, but before Oklahomans cast their vote, there will not be a debate between the two candidates vying for retiring U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe's seat. But our Washington Bureau Chief Alex Cameron did sit down with Republican candidate Mark Wayne Mullen and Democrat Kendra Horn in two separate interviews ahead of Election Day. Alex joins us this morning from Washington, D.C. to give us a little more insight into those conversations. Good morning, Alex. Storm, Tavis, how are you guys this morning? We're doing well. Hey, we're doing well. Okay, Alex, I'm, your, I'm gonna ask you your first question. I wanna ask you about how you came up with the questions you asked and which questions were the top ones you really wanted to talk about. Well, I mean, I just, first of all, wanted to know, you know why each of them made the decision uh, to run for Senate. Obviously, Mark Wayne's already in Congress. Uh, he probably could have just run for reelection to the second district and uh, had a relatively smooth ride, uh, you know, uh, Kendra Horn uh, has been out for a couple of years. Uh, everyone knew this would be a, a difficult race for a Democrat to try and get in and win in Oklahoma. So that was the first thing was, why did you decide to run? And so that's in the story. And then it was just on to different issues. You know, um, obviously, Americans are concerned about high prices. So we talked about inflation. We talked about things that are concerned to Oklahoma specifically, like energy, energy policy. Uh, so we got into that and talked about some things that have come up here in Congress uh, that both have strong feelings on, for example, infrastructure, the bipartisan infrastructure law. We talked about the southern border crisis. And of course, we talked about uh, reproductive rights and the big issue that's driving voters this year and obviously a significant issue in Oklahoma as well. So we talked about all those things. And, you know, it, it, they stayed mostly on topic. Uh, some of it got into some, it, it wasn't a lot of personal attacks, but some of it was, you know, talking about the other style. I tried to stay away from that a fair amount and keep it to the issues. Uh, but the story tonight is largely focused on the various issues and where they stand on them. I know a lot of folks are, we're looking forward to seeing this kind of contrast between the two candidates, but uh, folks are kind of wondering why there isn't a debate between these two. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, obviously, uh, Kendra Horn would very much like to have debated Mark Lane Mullen. We offered, uh, Griffin Media offered to host a debate, uh, but Mark Lane Mullen declined. So that was one of the first things I asked him uh, in the interview. I don't have any interest in sitting there on a stage with someone that just constantly wants to attack you. Anyone that won't show up and answer questions doesn't deserve to have our votes. So Mark Lane Mullen's basic point here is that he feels like doing a debate would only help her, um, that it would be a no win for him, uh, that uh, she would just be attacking him the whole time. That's what he says he sees in all of her campaign ads, all of her um, social media posts, and he has no interest in just being part of an event where she's going to attack him constantly. You know, she says, well, you need to be willing to defend your record, defend your votes, uh, answer questions, you know about the issues um and so you know that's of course we would have hoped to see the same thing he says people can ask him questions anytime he's just not going to do it on the same stage with her mm. absolutely and alex you've covered the capitol for some time now and you've seen each of these real candidates in action tell the key differences you've noticed between mullen and horn well i mean did i did get to see uh congressman horn uh here in Congress, and I've seen Congressman Mullen as well. I mean, they both have uh, actually a lot of similar views in, in, in many ways. I mean, they both are for a very strong military, both are for um, all of the above approach to energy and, you know, legacy uh, energy sources that Oklahoma, you know, has so much to offer, not as well as renewables. So they have similar views. But obviously, I think the big difference is, you know, where they stand politically. I mean, he's very far to the right, and he's very comfortable being a very conservative um, Republican. Uh, Kendra Horn, whether out of necessity or because that's just the way she is, I mean, she is a moderate Democrat. Um, and she would work both sides of the aisle while she was here. She was part of the uh, Problem Solvers Caucus and appeared at many of their uh, press conferences. In fact, they were... Um, instrumental in getting Congress to finally move on a second uh, relief pack, COVID relief package. So, I mean, that would, that's, that's the most noticeable difference is that she, you know, openly works, you know, politically across the aisle uh, with Republicans and uh, you know, says that she is not beholden to uh, her party leaders. Certainly she voted mostly with 
uh, the Democrats, but there were times when she pushed back on Democratic leadership. Mark Lane Mullen has been much more likely to go along with the Republican leadership uh, on the issues that they stand for. Our last question here, Alex, about 30 seconds left. Set the scene for us across the country. You know, with a divided U.S. Senate, there's certainly races that are predicted to be closer than this one is here in Oklahoma. But what would it mean to the balance of power um, either way on the outcome of this race here in Oklahoma? Well, obviously, it's going to be very, very close. And, um, you know, most people assume that Mark Wayne Mullen is going to win this one. Kendra Horn uh, says not so fast. Um, but, you know, I think the... It, it no no matter what happens on November 8th, no party is going to have enough of a majority in the Senate to be able to overcome a filibuster, uh, and that's critical. So the Senate is going to have to continue to be a deliberative body, one where people are willing to work with each other in a bipartisan fashion in order to get anything done. You look at what's happened in the last few years, and you know even with all you know all Democratic leadership here in Congress, the only things that have really gotten through uh, have been things where there has been bipartisan support. Yeah. So. If either of them wants to get things done and be effective, be a factor, if they get elected, they're going to have to be willing to work with people on the other side. All righty, you can see Alex's uh, interviews with Mark Wayne Mullen and Kendra Horn, both running to replace U.S. Senator Jim Inhofe tonight on News 9 at 10 o'clock. Alex, thanks for your time. My pleasure.